super good man. He was a good help a lot of people. A peaceful Sunday fishing outing turned into a tragic day out for the Ramirez family. And I see my daughter and I get it from the hair, I pick it up and I put it up. I don't care if I was under the water. 31-year-old Gregorio Ramirez and his wife Isme had just finished up fishing at this canal in Mercedes with their six children and one on the way when their five-year-old daughter Victoria fell in the water. It's one of those situations where you see something just like the mother did. She, she saw the child fall in. You as a parent or you as a brother or a loved one, you see somebody in there, you're going to jump in not thinking about yourself. I went to, to her to get him, but I, I don't know how to swim. So he told me that I was, I throw in the water and he went to the water. Not knowing how to swim and feeling helpless, the couple tried to reach their daughter. But when Isme grabbed onto a branch to save her life, she says she suddenly didn't see Gregorio anymore. He just touched my head. And but I don't see him. I, just, he, I feel his hand and I see his shirt under the water, but I don't see him anymore. Both Isme and little Victoria were recovered from the water, but Gregorio was swept away by the strong current and drowned. His body was found nearby 30 minutes later. Authorities are warning families who frequent canals for fishing or other activities to always be aware of their surroundings and to keep young children away from the waters, which can prove to be deadly. If you're going to be in an area where you know you, you have a possibility of your children uh, falling off or even you yourself and you're not a good swimmer, always wear a, a, a vest. It's family oriented. Every time we come we see families fishing in this place and we go up the stream and there's also families fishing there. So now we do think twice on uh, coming over here. In Mercedes, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.